Hairs Trading, how to get started. Had a great question from uh, one of our viewers. And if you are watching this on Tasty Trade or YouTube or wherever, um, you can always feel comfortable reaching out to me on YouTube or on YouTube for sure, uh, the Small Exchange YouTube channel, if you subscribe or just comment or what have you. But also you can reach me at frank at tastytrade.com for uh, more information on anything. But I had a great question uh, owing from a recent spot that we did about a uh, specific opportunity in pairs trading. We were looking at trading uh, stocks against interest rates. And the question um, was a super apt one. And it may see, seem simple uh, at the start, but I thought it was it was really nice where our viewer, she was, she was like, what are you looking for? In in a pairs trade, because you can highlight, you know, I'm buying this, I'm selling this. It's at historical highs or lows or what have you. But how do I take this information and find my own pairs trades? Uh, the The idea here today, I guess, is uh, is not um, giving you a piece of fish, but teaching you how to fish in the wide, vast ocean of pairs trading opportunities. The first thing that you're looking for before you start. You know, uh, and and we're going to do this today so that you can figure this out in your trading platform. You don't need to download any data, crunch any historical numbers. But what you want to make sure of before you start, uh, you know, you get into your charting package and you put in Apple stock or Amazon stock, and you're looking at their charts recently. It's like, oh, this one's up ten percent year to date. This one's up 5% year to date. The first thing you want to make sure of before you do any of that is if you found markets that normally move together and then markets that are currently moving apart. That's where the pairs trading opportunity comes from in its simplest form. I've got two markets that normally, uh, you know, eight, nine days out of the 10, they're moving in the same direction, but today they're moving apart. Or if you're looking at a longer term pairs trading opportunity, you know, eight or nine months, these markets are moving in the same direction out of 10 months. This month, they're diverging. That's where pairs trading opportunity comes from, from finding two correlated markets that are currently diverging. And you can do this if you are running correlations at home or you have a platform that compares markets via correlation. Obviously, that correlation number lets you know a correlation of you know, positive 0.5 or above means that they tend to move together. And then all you have to do is compare them using your charting package to be like, oh, are these things moving apart? Um, and you could also, though, just lean on some historical relationships, like one that we're zeroing in on today, one of the most popular pairs trades out there, stocks versus bonds. When stocks are doing well, bond prices tend to move lower or interest rates inversely tend to move higher. And so you have a relationship here. We have the 10-year interest rate futures and the technology stock futures. And you know, like I say, eight, nine years out of 10, uh, you have this stock market and interest rate market moving in the same direction. That's just a traditional relationship. You, of course, can assign correlations. And I will here uh, to show you that most of the time, you have this normal environment, a correlation of about 0.5 or above. Currently, we're in an abnormal environment. That's where the opportunity comes from. Because if you have a market that tends to move, you have two markets that tend to move in the same direction. And right now, they're moving in the same direction. No opportunity. Cool relationship, one to put in my back pocket for later. But I don't have anything to do right now. I'm looking for something that tends to have a positive correlation, but has recently broken down. And that's what you see here ever since we got into this environment of you know, inflation being a worry, the Fed is going to have to hike and everything else. You've seen interest rates rising and stocks moving lower. And you can see it right the same time periods, but in the prices of these two markets. And, and this is what's really nice is, uh, of course, you can put forth the effort to calculate correlations and everything else. But you know that Coke and Pepsi are going to you know, move together. Gold and silver are going to move together. These historical relationships, stocks and interest rates uh, that we have here. And then all you have to do in your platform is just look through them. Oh, I want to look through all the airline stocks to see if there's a pairs trading opportunity. AAL, UAL, LUV, 
just stay in your charting uh, package there and compare if you want, you know, year to date or the last month or the last, you know, uh, two years, whatever you want to look at uh, and see if one is greatly outperforming the other. And then the last bit is, is simply setting up the trade where I'm buying the down market, I'm selling the up market, hoping for them to come back in line. You're, you're hoping for, you know, whether it's this chart of the two prices, they normally move together. You see here in, you know, 2019 and 2020, stocks and interest rates both bottom out, uh, all uh, culminating in the height of pandemic fears. Coming out of the height of those fears, these markets are both bouncing back together and now you have a market where stocks since about the end of 2021 moving lower rates moving back to the highs i'm going to sell interest rates i'm going to buy stocks hoping for that relationship to come together and this pairs trade will be profitable if the markets do return to normal of course they can continue to expand but we like to be on the historical historically probable side of these trades they tend to move uh, together and so i'm going to take their divergence as an opportunity for a return to normal by buying the sticks futures and selling the S10Y and looking for uh, probably given their size of those products, maybe a couple hundred bucks in the next uh, couple of weeks uh, on a on one contract basis. And that's getting started uh, pairs trading, friends. Thanks so much for joining me here on the Small Stakes program. That's going to do it for Wednesday's program. But We've got a whole slew of great content coming to you from the Tasty Trade Network. So stay tuned for Splash into Futures coming up next.